Hello and welcome to Knife Delights. It's time for another Way Back Wednesday. This is a great open tag started by my friend Warthog. Thank you so much, Rick, for starting this open tag. Yep, you know Warthog, the man, the legend, and the curator of cutlery. Now, Rick has always, uh, or has, has been going through some uh, pretty significant medical challenges. Um, he's not shy about, you know, sharing those uh, concerns with us. And I just, I hope this video finds you doing very well, Rick. You know, you're always an inspiration when I watch your video. I know what you're fighting through. And the fact that you're still, you know, willing, able, and, and capable of sharing that great collection with us. I just wanted to, you know, let you know once again how much I appreciate everything you do. Showing your knives. Uh, you got great knowledge behind the knives. It's just fantastic. I'm happy to be able to participate in this open tag. And I would invite other channels to do the same. And Rick's, um, I guess, definition of a vintage knife. Something that would qualify on Way Back Wednesday is anything like 1999 and prior. So please, jump in this open tag. It's a lot of fun. What we have here today is we have a western uh, fixed blade knife, hunting knife, and it is the W66. The W66, and it is stamped down in this brass guard there. Now, I was when I think of a western knife, I always think of the, the uh, leather handle on it, and the knife designation starting with an L for for leather and well of course obviously this one's a W for wood so I found this in a pawn shop and I jumped all over it because what a fantastic knife and a fantastic uh, sample from a company that's uh, you know been out of business for several years and it's in very good shape it has been used but uh, there's still a lot of blade there and we'll start off I'll show you this tang stamp and it simply says Western USA. And with Western, there's a lot of different tang stamps. It's kind of hard to decipher sometimes. But early on, you know, their first tang stamp read Western States and then Boulder, Colorado. And I think even at the very beginning, you know, it was, in a, it was arched. Um, this, I believe, represents their second tang stamp. It just says uh, Western USA on it. And even though there was some variations of this one. But with this tang stamp, um, this should place this knife being made between 1961 and 1977. In 1978, a letter was added below, uh, put down there to indicate a year. And then there was another tang stamp that came out. Uh, because Western was bought out by the Coleman Corporation. You know, Coleman, uh, makers of camping supplies, Coleman stoves, lanterns, etc. And uh, I believe they continued on with that letter designation. I believe Coleman owned Western, oh, what was the years here? Oh, I've got it here somewhere. 19, 1984 to 1990. And then, I don't know if Camillus, I don't know if Coleman used the uh, Western facilities and kept manufacturing in-house or if they contracted with Camillus. But at some point after 1990, I know for sure uh, Camillus started making the knives. And of course, Camillus went out of business and so it's uh, all the records and everything is, are kind of lost to different collectors. So it's hard to get some of the accurate information here. If there's any uh, collectors of Western knives, why please let me know uh, any in, any additional information you might have, especially on the later years of uh, Western knives. So again, this is to me not a common handle, but this is wood as these two big brass rivets. And of course, this brass guard with a model number stamped down in on top of the guard there. It does say Western USA on the show side. And on the pile side, it is blank. 
It does have uh, micarta spacers in there, black, what looks to be yellow now. However, maybe they were white originally, and then the red. We'll check out the blade here. And the blade should be four and a half inches, which it is. And it has an overall length of about eight and a half inches there. The blade is upswept and it's got a swedge on both sides. There's a good shot of it. There and there. And uh, since this point appears to be higher than this right here, I would say that this is an upswept skinner. Take a look at it there. We can see it is a full tang knife. And this is what's interesting about Western knives. You see this pin and this pin here. This pin goes through here and out the other side. And the same on this bottom pin. So they use two pins in the construction. The reason for that is the tang is bifurcated. Think of a tuning fork. So this pin here is going through the top uh, prong of the tuning fork, and this one is going through the bottom. And Western uh, patented that sometime back in the 1930s. Uh, they thought that it made for a much more stronger and robust uh, knife, um, and it was unique. I don't know of any other company then that used that method. I do know that this knife in, uh, may have come in a set because there was this knife along with a, a small hand axe or a small hatchet that looked very, you know, the same wood handle on the hatchet. And so this may have been part of a set. We look at the sheath here, and the sheath is unusual. Now, normally their sheaths have some sort of uh, decor decorative stamping down in here. But this does say Western up here. I'm just not sure if this is the correct sheath for this knife. It does fit it. It very well could have been. But I don't know. It's a Western sheath. Is it the right sheath for this knife? Again, I have not seen any other sheaths online through all my searching that were, you know, plain black like this. So... If anybody happens to recognize this sheath, please, again, let me know in the comments. Because I'm kind of interested in knowing what, what the original sheath like this would look like. Um, Western, uh, I won't go into the full company history, but Western does have a tie to the Case family. And Western, uh, boy... They have a long and storied history, and I do plan on doing a video, uh, you know, really doing a deep dive into the Western uh, Knives history. Well, I certainly hope you've enjoyed this Way Back Wednesday. I'm going to put a, a playlist here at the end, and it's going to be on my fixed blade knives, and it should appear down in the right-hand corner. So please check out my other videos that I've done on fixed blade knives. I have done... A video on a Western Boy Scout knife so you can find that under my Boy Scout knives playlist and I think it's also on the fixed blade play playlist if you're interested so until next time everyone have a very delightful day